Hello, this is the uh, tutorial for the Survey123 app for opportunistic monarch butterfly and bumblebee sightings. Uh, the opportunistic monarch butterfly is also going to include opportunistic milkweed sightings as well. And this is all for the Utah Pollinator Pursuit uh, Citizen Science Project. So we are first going to navigate to Survey123 on our phone then go into your successfully downloaded Utah Pollinator Pursuit and we're going to click collect. So it loads the survey. Please do enter your full name into uh, the observer. It really helps us uh, track you down if we have questions uh, about the data submitted. The affiliation is who you work for or your agency, etc. Uh, citizen science is fine. Again, anything more about you that, that we can hopefully contact you if need be. Um, so we're going to start with an opportunistic bumblebee sighting. We're out on a hike and we see a uh, uh, bumblebee flying around and as happens with me, you get a little uh, looking a little crazy starting it chasing around this bumblebee with your cell phone. Um, but you do get a couple of good um, photographs of that bumblebee and so we'll navigate to those on your uh, phone's photo folder um, and we can there he is there we did get another good photo oop, a photo of him uh, on a penstemon there he is there so and again if, if you don't like the photos you can press that uh, trash can delete and you can try again or choose a different one that maybe you took so here's your choices for the species um, you can tap on each one of these uh, diagrams to the left that gives you a much better look at, at what you're looking at in terms of the segments of the bumblebee. So I was looking at it and my bumblebee and I am pretty sure it's frivolous. We do happen to have though the unknown or uncertain. So it's still an option. Do your best. We do um, still validate these before we send them on to um, the bumblebee atlas. So they were foraging on flowers. Um, and then there's more uh, flowers there at the site. So what we're looking for here is just a general idea about the flight uh, or the site, sorry. Um, if there's only two flowers there, get only two flowers. Uh, if there's five and an abundance of those five, then do please try to get five. Just it gives us a little bit more context about the site overall. Um, there's your location and I do recommend um, keeping your uh, phone in airplane mode. Uh, it doesn't um, drain down the battery nearly as quickly as if, if it's not in airplane mode, always looking for cell service. Um, and your GPS chip is always on, so it will, it will get your location. So this was in a montane area. Um, we did see a little bit of recreation, so there's a bunch of trails in the area that um, could pose a, a threat to um, flying bumblebees. So again, here's here's more about the other, maybe other common flowers that you didn't see the bumblebee nectaring on. So again, if there's only two, there's only two. Um, just again, to, to give us a better idea about, uh, about the site uh, overall. The habitat, I do have a good habitat photo of a beautiful montane meadow. Um, it does jump you around when you do that. And then just estimate the time it took for you to complete this work. So uh, how much time did it take out of your hike in terms of chasing this bumblebee around with your cell phone, taking some photos of the flowers and getting uh, this information into your into the uh, Survey123 site. And any notes, maybe um, it's helpful to know uh, a bit about what was going on that day that might affect um, pollinator behavior. So I'm going to put in that it was sunny and about 70 degrees where we were. So we're going to go ahead and click done and the check mark. And again, since I'm offline, it's going to save it in the outbox, um, which is great. And then you can get back into that outbox. So if we go back to that outbox, say we're back in service, we looked uh, a little bit more. Um, at that uh, bumblebee choice and and its habitat and we think well let's see I'm gonna edit it and you know what I don't think it was for uh, Morse and I I think it was fervidus 
Um, anyway, that I think that might have been a different um, uh, observation. So um, if you do have a number of these observations, do be careful in terms of which ones uh, you go back in and edit. Make sure it's the right one, um, speaking from experience. So um, now we're going to go back in. We're going to quickly go back in and do an opportunistic monarch sighting. Uh, again, USU, uh, opportunistic monarch. So we saw some milkweed uh, in an area that we wanted to go take a look at. There's your location. We took a look at the milkweed for about 15 minutes just to see if we could find any evidence of monarchs, egg or larvae. Uh, unfortunately, we did not find any. So we're going to click that so we don't have any photos of those. Um, it's in a riparian area. And... I think there's, I saw a few uh, tamarisk and Russian olive that uh, that kind of get in the way of some other species there. So since we're on Monarch, we do make, want to make sure that we enter in um, the milkweed that we saw. There it is there. Again, you can, you know, take the photos and then sit down and navigate to everything on your phone, or you can take the photos as you go for opportunistic stuff. And then there are some other photos um, that we also have in uh, on our phone that we can upload. Um, we can also uh, take a photo of um, maybe some of the other, the service berry that was there. Um, it's always nicely labeled in the field like that. Habitat photo. I don't have a great habitat photo um, right now for uh, riparian area. I'm going to go ahead and skip that, but please, please do get a good habitat photograph. Anything else that you think will be helpful. And again, for this opportunistic um, sighting, how long did it distract you from your day? Was it, we'll say 30 minutes. Um, and we'll say that we saw maybe 55 stems of milkweed, but it was otherwise kind of weedy. So again, any anything else that would be helpful for context. Um, it, it really does. Those, those notes mean a lot. Um, and click done and the check mark. And again, it's on your phone that you can submit once you get back into service. Thank you.